hurting it and really going with it. And when it doesn't happen, you can't help but to feel that letdown. I, I'm not going to give you any more dates. I understand how that feels. So for right now, I'm going to stand on, I'm going to stand firmly that the hybrid existence is most definitely going to occur this year. The government has no chance of even lasting a month, in my opinion. Thing, they are unraveling too fast. Um, Obama's little speeches he's having in town meetings or whatever. There's people asking questions that he just simply has to divert around. The government cannot be honest. They're, it, they know that if they're they're going to be honest, they're going to be doing themselves in literally. Those who are ready to do lawsuits can literally do them in literally. They have no choice but to uh, keep dishing out the BS nonstop. They have no choice. So that being said, it's assured they're going to fall. This whole nuke thing with cutting back on nukes, you know why that is? It's because nukes are ineffective. They don't work. They can only use the scare tactics of World War Three, Iran, China, whatever, whatever, you know, World War Three stuff. It doesn't matter. Missiles can be disarmed on spot if they have to. So, um, we all know that the government is unwinding at an alarming rate. So that is giving you an essential key on how close this occurrence is. I'm, I'm not that far off. My prediction is not going to be very far off. What it is is my precognitions are just getting so extreme and with the unnatural circumstances and the, yeah, the uh, kind of a hopes getting high kind of thing. It's not entirely, that's for sure. Um, I maybe made an early call. But we can see that the Earth is talking to us. Um, the Earth is, those are frequency spikes that cause earthquakes. She can't help it. She's a planetary being. But if the circumstances were natural, an earthquake would be pointless. Absolutely pointless. Because the earthquake's activity is actually supposed to be in a focal point of a crystal. The crystals are underground. Hence, earthquake underground affects what's above. As above, so below, and so below, as above. So, we can stand firm on that. You can turn on the news, depending on the news station still, it still depends. I can tell that Fox is going to probably pretty much crush the news stations. Um, Bill O'Reilly luckily has resigned from Fox, I'm so glad, but that's because he's, he's with, the, he's with uh, I was going to say the Bush regime, but it's pretty much the same thing, Obama regime. Um, there was another big news anchor that quit CNN and went to Fox. And I noticed he changed too. I noticed he's asking pretty good questions. I don't remember his name, but um, you probably know who I'm talking about. But then again, you probably don't watch the news anyone who's watching this. Because as we know it, TV's not putting out the truth. So, um, let's see. I, I see so many directions with how this is going to go with um, this, uh, this guy that has excellent connections it was it was very interesting it was very interesting so my destiny is being shown to me if it does turn out that I am to rise above the surface and actually start being heard around on television and everything I'm ready for it I am ready for it I, I honestly am ready to be in front of a crowd of a hundred thousand I don't care what the number in fact the more the number the greater I, I don't fear it Fear is is nearly as close to doubt right now, and doubt is dead. I, I guess if there's any doubt, it's it's when this occurrence is going to happen. But you can see it in real time. Essentially, the occurrence is happening, but it's it's an embedded uh, invis it's it, it's not invisible because even scientists will say they do these little tests, and even the little tests show that hold on, this light showing on our side of the dimension, but but somehow it's showing on another dimension. So even scientists will tell you there is another spectrum behind what we just we just can't see. So essentially the currents is happening, but we're not seeing it. And that's that is the official level I was working with. And I 
my, my precognitions are they're um they're balancing so for right now um i'm gonna i'm gonna stick to i'm gonna stick to recording so i'm gonna keep doing that um my final re recording will be when the occurrence happens essentially so from here on stick to fox news if you're gonna watch anything on tv don't watch tv watch fox news i understand how fox was used with the bush regime but I guarantee if you watch Fox long enough, depending on the anchor, it really does depend still. Fox is not 100%. If you watch Glenn Beck, especially Glenn Beck, yes, Hannity. I know how it was in the past, but I have seen enough of Hannity that know that he's trying to he's getting he's trying to get his ven he's trying to get vengeance. He's trying to he's trying to also clear his record. Um, you're you're going you're going to see well more than hints because the government has absolutely nothing. All missile defense systems, computer related, are down. They cannot be used. All nukes down. All satellite defense systems down. None of it works. They only have quote words. So. With that being said, I'll uh, do another recording uh, based on this guy's uh, reaction, and we'll go from there. That about covers it for right now. Um, oh yeah, the concert was was good. The concert was great. Um, I was wore out, but you know, in a good way, of course. Um, yeah, uh, um, I've never really heard Blue October's music. Um, I understand that he's, you know, facing a lot of depression, and, and sure, I'm un unaware of, of how deep everything is, but, again, um, essentially it doesn't matter. When the realization presents itself, it doesn't matter almost, it really doesn't matter really how unaware you are. Once the realization presents itself to you, in clarity, purity, and honesty, um, IQ really does not matter because love can be felt just about by any being, including animals. Um, even babies can feel love from their mothers, and they're just being born. They naturally know to love. They naturally know to want care and compassion. And babies, yes, cry a lot, but that's because they are so hypersensitive, and a lot of people don't realize how much essentials a baby really needs. It's not as simple as even just love and of course you know what's needed to take care for a baby but a babies don't need baby toys. That that whole dealio and the baby TV shows, n no, no. That's, that's, that's just a limit, an infant. Even scientists will say there's an intelligence in a baby that's quite impressive even deep emotion. I myself um, uh, began walking at a at a fairly early age. I mean, way over the average. And began talking fluently and even at a fast pace at a very early age. And I myself, in third grade, all the way to fifth grade, went through suicidal thoughts and attempts. That is why my physicality is still very anorexic. I am very skinny, and I just can't gain weight. It doesn't matter what I do, I just can't gain weight. Um, from 6th grade to 8th grade, battled chronic depression. Hardcore depression. I can literally count the value of thoughts I had from 3rd grade to 8th. I think one or two. Literally. I am not kidding you. Drawing saved me, allowed me to you know be creative, but there was no thought spine. There was literally nothing behind it. I was pretty much. I consider myself 11 years old technically, because at age 15 I truly realized, wait a minute, oh I'm I'm alive. But we all we all come alive at certain times of age. Uh, music bring me to life, and then philosophy, and just all this other combinations and this. In Intense intelligence became very graphic.